What is going on in Gaza this week? This week, the situation in Gaza remains tense and volatile. On Monday, October 10, 2023, Israeli forces launched a series of airstrikes on Gaza, killing at least 10 people, including a woman and two children. The airstrikes were in retaliation for the firing of rockets from Gaza into southern Israel. The Israeli military claims that the airstrikes were targeted at Hamas militants, but witnesses say that civilian homes were also hit. The United Nations has condemned the airstrikes, calling them a grave violation of international law. The airstrikes have come at a time when Gaza is already facing a humanitarian crisis. The Israeli blockade of Gaza has severely restricted the flow of goods and people into and out of the territory. As a result, two-thirds of Gaza's population is dependent on food aid, and the unemployment rate is over 50%. The latest escalation of violence in Gaza has raised concerns about a wider conflict. Hamas has warned that it will retaliate for the Israeli airstrikes, and Israel has said that it is prepared to respond to any further attacks. The international community is calling for both sides to show restraint and to avoid further violence. The United Nations is also working to provide humanitarian assistance to the people of Gaza. What you can do to help. There are a number of ways that you can help the people of Gaza. Donate to humanitarian organizations that are working in Gaza, such as the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, UNRWA, or the World Health Organization, WHO. Contact your elected officials and urge them to support efforts to end the Israeli blockade of Gaza, and to bring about a peaceful resolution to the conflict. Raise awareness about the situation in Gaza and the humanitarian crisis that is unfolding there. You can also help to support the Palestinian people by boycotting Israeli products and by investing in Palestinian businesses. Conclusion The situation in Gaza is a complex and difficult one. There is no easy solution to the conflict, but it is important to remember that the people of Gaza are suffering. We can all do our part to help them by donating to humanitarian organizations, contacting our elected officials, and raising awareness about the situation.